Hi, I'm Gail C, Director of Teaching and Learning, and this week's podcast, I'm here with Karen Janae, um, one of our school librarians, and our visiting author, John Coy. So it's been quite an exciting week. I'm going to turn over to Karen to pose a couple of questions to John. Okay. Um, one of the big things I know you push for is, is trying to hook those boys into reading. What kinds of tips would you leave us with that we could continue and see about getting those boys hooked? Oh, absolutely, because that this age, this age of third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade is so important for boys to decide whether they're readers. And many of them start out pretty enthusiastic in the younger grades, and then as it gets, as they go on in school, some of them lose that excitement. So the, the number one tip is to make sure they find books about things that are interesting to them, to address their genuine interests. And we've got a library that has a lot of that in them. We've had some books that we've been able to share with them this week that I've written that some of them have responded real strongly mm -hmm. to. So it's identify the genuine interest of the kid and then find things for those genuine interests rather than trying to push the kid into reading things right. that we think would be better for him. But just say, what are you interested in? Here's some stuff we think you'll like. And I went to a great workshop that you did with our teachers the other day after school, and John was highlighting some of his books, one of which he has here, um, that really spoke to that, about hooking those boys into uh, reading. John, would you like to talk to us about what you've been doing out and about in our school, not just here in the library, yes. but, but uh, what you've been doing with the students? I'd love, and one other thing I wanted to say about that is that genuine interest, if kids find something they're genuinely interested in, they don't even think of it as reading. Right, like right. They think, right. I'm just exploring basketball. You know, they're so excited about that. And what's been so exciting this week is it's really a credit to, to ASD is that right away the librarians thought, is there a way we can blend some of these books with PE? Mm -hmm. So both with elementary and middle school, I've worked with the PE teachers who right. have just been fantastic, and I want to yeah. thank them for being so flexible and yeah. so accommodating. Right. With the big kids, with the eighth graders, we had them use this, the idea of inventing a game, and then they invented their own games, right. which was fun. really interesting. Yeah. And then with the younger kids, with the fourth and fifth graders, we've been having them play basketball with these original rules, which has been a big surprise yeah. to some of them. But a number of them have come up afterwards and told me, I really like that game the way it was with the original rules. So right. it was a really nice way. And with both of them, we spent some time in the PE class um, talking about books, reading a book, and then going and playing. And I love it when that stuff goes together. And yeah. there's a sense that these things all work together. Yeah, and what a great connection to be able to connect literacy into a PE in class. PE. And yeah. fabulous, yeah. fabulous. Yeah. Real good hook. So, Absolutely, and yeah. that's a real credit to those teachers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. great. Right. So we've enjoyed having you here at school. And um, you've been spreading your work all the way through the school and these books have been flying off the shelves oh, I know. They have. so that, that's mm -hmm. fabulous um, and we're going to have a little perhaps have a little look at some of the work you've been doing this week so we thank you for being here John oh thank you it's been my thank pleasure you thank, you for, thank you thank you for the invitation you're welcome all right